Oh, boogie right. man ban coming round the band is boogie man ban is boogie man ban. Greetings, fellow fright fiends, and thanks so much for stopping by the Horizon channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry, I look like absolute shit, but uh, I've had a really rough couple of weeks. Recording this on Saturday, August the 23rd. I am going to be seeing The Expendables 4 today. I don't think a lot of people really give a shit given the reception to the videos that I've done this week celebrating uh, the fourth uh, film's release. And the I know the reviews have been horrendous, but I don't care. I'm still going to go see the film. Um, you know, I just, I really just don't give a shit about uh, critics anymore. Um, but that being said, today's video is very special. This is something that finally arrived. As I said before, I've been really cutting back on buying things just because the Halloween 45th anniversary event is coming up next weekend. I am going to it. Uh, we're not going to, we're just going down there for the day and coming back home, but we're going down for the, uh, event on the 30th, uh, really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, there's, uh, you know, I have to budget though, because I'm, I'm not rich and, a lot of amazing people are going to be there, but uh, I have three people that I really want to meet, and that is Dick Warlock, Anthony Michael Hall, and Stacey Nelkin. Those are the three that I really want to meet. If I have anything left over and I have the opportunity to meet James Jude Courtney and anybody else that's there, I'll do it. But those are the three I want to meet, and I'm sticking to it. Um, got other things going on in my life, and uh, but I'm really excited to go down there, and I'm happy my wife's going to be going with me. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be something I've never experienced before. All of the cons that I've gone to in my life have been in the surrounding area close to where I live. First time I've gone long distance uh, for a horror convention. So should be a good time. But back in August, uh, Cavity Colors, uh, a company that I am really just growing to love even more with each release that they put out, they announced that they were doing a, um, a an officially licensed run for the movie Dead Silence. One of my favorite movies of all time. My favorite James one film i don't know why this film doesn't get the praise that it so deserves finally we did get a nice uh release from screen factory this year um and devon whitehead's uh art was used for the alternate uh slip case and poster that was released along with this set i showcased that when i got these in march of this year um but i found out that they were putting out some uh shirt designs they had three new designs as well as a hoodie and for the first time in a long time, I bought all three shirt designs. It cost me over a hundred bucks, but it was uh, that, and there's a Halloween 2 release that I actually bought. But outside of that, I haven't been buying any other shirts. I really have been cutting back on what I buy because I wanted to save up for this convention and just other things going on in my life and, you know, with my home and things like that. But I love this film and I still to this day cannot understand why we don't have more of these. Uh, I thought it was such a great story, uh, such a well executed film. I know that there was issues when they made the film. Lee Winnell has talked about it, just, you know, studio interference and things like that. But the Mary Shaw legend, and, I mean, I love it even more than the Conjuring films and I love the Conjuring one and two very much, but uh, this film's amazing. And when I found out that they were doing a, they had the license to do, to do shirts for the film, I was like, I got to get those. So, yep, bought all three. Um, can't wait to see them. I can't believe they're in this small bag, but uh, I'm starting to buy more cavity colors than um, Fright Rags. So, oh, got a bookmark from the new design. They have some new designs that are going to be, they're going to be at uh, Halloween 45, and they're doing several new shirt designs, and there's, uh, on the bookmark, there's one, so that's cool. I got one of these bookmarks with the Michael Myers design on it. And it looks like uh, Cammy is the one that packaged my order. So Cammy, thank you very much. And I'm going to be sporting one of these today. I'm I already know which one I'm going to be sporting, but uh, yeah, excited to see these. And I just reorganized my cabinet back here to fit these shirts. So there's the first one. And this is the design that was used on the um, Scream Factory release. I have a poster of this up in the Horror Zone Lounge. I love that image. Again, Devon Whitehead to me is the Drew Struzan of uh, t-shirt artists or just artists working right now. Because I feel like his art just captures everything you need to know about that film. And that's what was so masterful about Drew Struzan's poster art. Um, but yeah, that's fantastic. And I'll showcase all of them up close at the end. This is the one that I'm just so excited about. This one glows in the dark. And it is the likeness of Mary Shaw. Check that. That's fucking awesome. I'm probably going to wear that one today. I love that. Just so haunting. Absolutely fantastic. Love that. 
And then the last one is the poster art with the character of Billy. And this is uh, just, it's like the, what's on the cover here. But still, I had to get them all. <laughs> it's like, I love this fucking movie. Uh, they're all so great. So worth the wait. A month waiting for them. So glad that I have them. I will showcase them all up close at the end. They are still available. I did check. Um, they are still available, so I will put a link down below. Pick these up because Cavity Color stuff, once it's pre-ordered and shipped out, the remaining stuff seems to go pretty quickly. I, I think what drew me to Dead Silence so much is that it had elements of horror films that I grew up with, like Candyman or Nightmare on Elm Street, where it was this legend that people didn't want to talk about. And it's the whole thing with Mary Shaw and you better never scream because she'll rip your tongue out. And it's, it's very, very creepy. And uh, I just thought that the execution of the film was great. It had a very fairy tale quality to it, very noir, gothic feel to it. Uh, the town of Ravensfair. And I thought everybody in the film did great. And uh, I'm just sad that it never, it kind of came out at a time when, um, you know, when uh, the remake trend was really going on and people weren't interested in ghost stories. And uh, it just sort of, you know, was released and then just sort of fell flat and everybody was more interested in, saw and uh, you know like uh, remakes of really classic horror films it was this it came out the same year that rob zombies halloween came out but uh i'm glad that at least there's a cult following for this and that there has been more interest in it growing and i'm hoping it's like you know some of these films that came out when i was a kid that were flops like john carpenter's the thing which i always love but now it's like this huge cult thing same thing with halloween three season of the witch there's a lot of films that just don't find their audience in the theaters and then they just grow and grow because of word of mouth Mouth. and i cannot recommend dead silence enough if you haven't seen it love the ending it just always throws me for a loop how it ends and uh yeah fantastic film fantastic company and cavity colors i will showcase all the shirts up close at the end but yeah these are absolutely fantastic i am going to be sporting this one today i've already decided and uh yeah, can't say enough great things about Cavity Colors. Like I said, they are kind of replacing Fright Rags a little bit for me. I just haven't been really that enamored with a lot of the Fright Rags stuff that's been coming out as of late. So pretty much everything I've been buying is from Cavity Colors, and I haven't really bought a lot of shirts in the last couple months. So that's it. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'm trying to wake up because I want to go see my movie today, and I got some other things I got to do around the house. But uh, thank you all so much for stopping by. And I hope everyone has a great Saturday and a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace. just want to say thank you again for supporting boogeyman ben's horror zone if you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell notification so you're updated every time i drop a new video i typically do this once or twice a week with new content uh, i've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine and it really means a lot to me that i can share that passion with all of you guys thanks so much again for the support and i'll talk to you again later take it easy stay scared as always peace